Hey yeah. everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out our merch store. We'll have a link in the description for that. It's November 17th, 2022 today. You can see we've got some snow now. I think winter's pretty much here. It's, I don't know, about 22, 23 degrees, I think, today. Supposed to cool off a little more than that in the next couple days and then warm back up some. But anyway, we're hauling some manure today. Me and Justin are gonna go spread a load. I got a load loaded up. I'll show you that later. But we're cleaning out this old red barn here. Um, I gotta kinda get it straightened back up too. It's a building that gets used quite a bit for heifers and stuff like that, but I think we're gonna try using it maybe for some switch cows this winter. So get it straightened up and maybe get a front wall built on there to keep it a little warmer. But we're gonna get it cleaned out right now. So we'll get hauling and get spreading, right? Hey everybody, it's the next day now. Um, beautiful out, it's cold out, it's windy, but the sun is shining and that feels good. So I'll call that a beautiful day. Um, anyway, we got this old red barn cleaned out yesterday. I didn't get a lot of video because my camera died from the cold weather, but we did get it finished. Uh, so like I was talking, we're gonna plan is to use this for switch cows this winter if we have more than a barn full, which we should have. So it'll just be kind of a bedding pack in here, and then they can go out in the corral out here too. These heifers will be getting moved up to a different barn. Um, and what this building was originally was this was the original barn on the farm. Um, when my grand, my great grandparents moved here, I don't believe they were milking cows in here because that other barn was built. But so my whole life it's just been young stock. But anyway, what I need to do this was. Um, a wall at one time so then they, they made it in for a door so you could get in here to clean it with the tractor but what has happened is over time especially on this end being most of the wall is gone this building has started to shift this way you can tell it on that little door there how the gap on the top I don't think the back is quite so bad and actually this whole wall over here should really be redone the the footing is kind of crumbly and that needs some work. But what I want to try to do before we get cows in here this winter, I want to run a cable from up in that corner down to the bottom corner here. Um, so I can kind of try to pull it, pull it back up, straighten it up some, and then uh, we'll get some kind of a wall built, just temporary for now to fill this in so you're not getting the wind through here. And then uh, next year we can work work a little bit more on getting an actual door in here and whatnot. We don't need, we can put a lot more wall in here now that we can get in here with a skid loader and clean because we don't have to try to fit a whole tractor and loader in there. But um, so anyway, we got it cleaned out. That looks good. Get started straightening on it a little bit. I'm no barn straightening professional or anything, but uh, I think we can get it get it pulled up some. But anyway, what I'm doing now, I got a little bit more manure to haul. This top heifer barn up here, the one side of it we had calf pens in for little calves. And we got them taken out now, so I want to get that cleaned out uh, while it's still it's not frozen yet. So 
we are going to go work on that now i think there's only a maybe a load maybe a little bit more than a load but not much um so get that cleaned out and then i'll kind of show you this barn up here is going to need some repair too so uh, i'll show you what's going on with that all right so we're up in this top heifer barn now i got the heifers locked in on the one side and they can come in and out of here through the back um but this side here this is where we had those pens uh used to free house cattle on both sides they could come in and out of here but what's been going on this building was originally built for hogs and then it had sheep in it and it's kind of been repurposed multiple times but what's been going on here is your concrete uh foundation here that the wall is on is not anchored into the slab at all they're two separate pieces and what's happened on the outside of the wall cattle were pastured out there they wore the dirt down so that foundation is in the and the wall itself are tipping away they're separating from the slab i don't know i can probably show you here this spot here's the end of the slab and here's the foundation so you've got a good two inch gap there and in, in that spot that runs most of the way and i really don't want to have to rip the whole wall out and pour a whole new footing and everything so what my plan is and of course this will i've got it blocked up so it can't move anymore but what i want to do get this all cleaned out get that crack all cleaned out completely and then see if we can pull or push that that whole footing and everything back up against the slab and then uh, we'll just backfill everything back up in there and so it can't move um i think that's probably going to be my best bet with that like i said it's going to be a big project if you're going to try to redo that whole thing so we'll see if that if that doesn't work out then i guess we'll have to dig it out and start from scratch but anyway i'm going to finish cleaning this out like i said it'll probably be maybe a little bit more than a load here but we'll start start scratching i have taken a little bit out of here already so get loaded up and get spreading call that a load i'm not filling it overly full because i want it to pulverize pretty good because i'm spreading this on hayfield so i don't want to have a lot of huge chunks i'll still have to run over it in the spring with a drag or something to break up what is there but uh, so i'm not overloading this so anyway we're gonna go spread this out and if any of you are wondering i've used i've had this spreader before for quite a while but some people always ask what brand it is this is a Minnesota brand. It's a spread all number 135. Um, and Minnesota is probably a company a lot of people never really heard of. And they were made by the, uh, the inmates at the Stillwater Prison. They used to have a pretty good line of equipment. They had manure spreaders, hay rakes, hay mowers, um, thrower hay racks, running gears. Um, there's probably stuff that I'm not even thinking about, but um, it was good equipment. It was good stuff. They don't the gravity boxes was a big one. I think that's probably the last thing that they continued to make until not too many years ago. But 
Um, I don't believe they make anything anymore, but uh, good equipment, good durable stuff. So anyway, that's what brand spreader it is and uh, works pretty good. So we're gonna go spread this out and see if we can get some video. Okay, well I got that finished cleaning this out. Um, I was gonna take video of spreading the second load of manure and I forgot the camera, so I didn't get any video of that. But I can show you what this looks like in here. All Jen's critters here. Got this all cleaned out. I did take my pickaxe and I cleaned out this gap I was talking about between the wall some. Um, you can actually see there's daylight coming through but it's actually even quite a bit wider here. It's probably, oh, it's probably close to six inches in the middle here, I would say, but um, I don't know how well it shows up, but it starts out, it's good up there and it just gets wider. And then this is probably about the widest spot in here where I've got these poles and then it goes back again. So anyway, uh, we've got, once we noticed this, we put, me and my brother put some blocks underneath. So it's supported now, so it's not moving anymore. But I think what my plan is going to be now, I won't really do much with it now this winter. But uh, in the spring, summer, when it warms up, I'm going to take my pressure washer and take that and use that to blow all the dirt and manure out of that, out of that crack. Get that all good and cleaned out. And then uh, we'll see if we can... See if we can get it pushed back into place. But anyway, we got that done, cleaned out, good for the winter. This side I got cleaned out a couple days ago and the outside pen. So uh, yeah, got that done. Now it's chore time. I'm gonna go down and get the cows bedded up. I let them out today, get some exercise for a while and get the stalls bedded up and get them in the barn. Okay, I'm gonna bed the cows before we put them in. Uh, what I've been doing this year, in the past, I usually either use, got a small bale bedding chopper or else we chop with a big chopper up into the hay mow and um, then just pitch it down when we need it and bed them. Because uh, for our manure system, we've got a manure pump. You want to have the straw chopped up because just the full length straw, it just doesn't work well. It bridges up, doesn't pump good. But this year, um, this last load of straw I bought this fall, I think we had some video of that a little while back. This straw is kind of chopped up in the bale. So what I've done is I was able to get a big square in here. I've used about half of it so far. Um, and I've just been taking it, peel it off of here, put it in this wheelbarrow and take it around and spread it out. And that's been working good. The nice thing with that, it's a little, takes a little bit more time than the other ways, but so much less dust. I mean, when you use that little bedding chopper in here, there's a cloud of dust and pipelines full of dust and everything is so. Um, we're gonna peel some off of here and start bedding.
You might have to move. Is that water tank full? Yeah. Jessica, can you shut it off? Okay. I don't bed real heavy. Uh, biggest reason is with this manure system, with you having the liquid manure, um, you can't take a lot of bedding. We do have rubber mats in the stalls too, so as far as cow comfort, they don't need a lot of bedding. Bedding's mainly, it gives them a little bit more cushion, but it helps keep them dry and keep them just a lot cleaner and everything. And then also, pretty much all the barn has the grates over the gutters, so if you get a real lot of bedding, it can be really hard to get that pushed through when you're cleaning up the barn and everything. Well, that's the process of bedding. I just got to finish the rest of them. And then we're going to get cows in and start milking, but I'll save some of that for another video. Okay, we're going to wrap up this video here. I wanted to give a couple thank yous to some things we received in the mail. Uh, first from Eric Brookins, he sent us a couple bags of chocolate and they were very good. So I can't show them on here, but I know they were delicious. And I also want to thank Jeff Horde. He sent us this um, caramel sign and it's really cool. It's very heavy. I'm thinking it's, it's a pretty old piece, um, all metal and be cool to get some backstory on where it came from, but I really appreciate that. I just got to find a good place to hang it, but Anyway, thank you all for that, and thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next one, and God bless.